Hey guys, what's up? It's Laura Ventura with Pause and All, and I have Mr. Simba here. I've been grooming him as young as five months, and today he just came in for a bath and a sanitary trim and in between the eyes. So I really want to go ahead and show you guys in this video how to go about trimming the fur in between the eyes, how to round out the paw pads and take off the fur, the hair um, underneath the paw pads, and how I go about doing a sanitary area. So if you're a baby groomer or if you are a pet parent that wants to learn these steps, stay tuned, I'm gonna teach you right now. All right guys, so I'm gonna start with his paw pads. His nails are trimmed. And the reason why I want his nails trimmed before I start his paw pads is because when I go round them out, I want them to be as close as possible. Um, without showing the nail. It just looks better that way. So I just always trim the nails before I start. All right, I'm gonna turn around this way. And with a 40, I'm gonna go ahead and gently shave his paw pads. If they have mats in here, I'll go ahead and just scoop it out really fast. He doesn't have any mats. So that's not needed. Um, and I just want to be sure that I'm gentle in here because it's a very sensitive area. There you go. where the nail is here so I don't go past it and then I'm gonna turn it back around I'm gonna comb it out again and I'm gonna make sure it looks good from the top When you're doing a paw pad, you just want to remember to make a round shape. Just want to concentrate on making a round shape. And then I'm going to just go ahead and do the other three the same way. look when it's all done from the bottom and 
and then from the top it should just look nice and neat and in a round shape. And notice that the nails, you can't really barely see them. But the paws are shorter and they're just neater all around. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and trim in between his eyes and maybe a little bit on his visor. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how I do it. This guy has some gorgeous eyes, so we just wanna make sure that you're able to see it, see them. And with my thinning shears, now you could do this with a with a 10 blade if you want, um, but I like to do it with my thinning shears. It just gives it a softer look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first comb out all these little hairs in between his eyes in an up direction to see what I'm working with. I'm gonna take my thinning shears and I'm kinda of just angling my thinning shears like this to get anything that's in front of his eyes out of his eyes. Okay. using a 15 and notice how I'm not pressing down so hard I'm doing this very gently this area here is very sensitive so you don't want to give them clipper burn or you don't want to give them any nicks so you want to just be as gentle as possible now I'm still able to be gentle and get all of these little hairs out of the way now I'm gonna lift up his leg just to get this area and you want to always go, you want to always go the direction where the hair is growing, not against the hair so they're not itchy. And then I'm going to do his little back end. I'm going to use the same blade, which is a 15. And I'm gently going to go up and down. And then side to side. And that's it. And again, same concept. You don't want to. You don't want to um, go in too too hard. Just gentle is definitely the way to go. Also, something I didn't mention when grooming your dog's face or grooming a dog's face, 
to have more control, you want to either hold them gently from right here. Some dogs don't like to be held right here, so what I'll do is I'll hold their entire muzzle like this. And when I do that, that just means they comprehend, okay, she means business, and they will sit still for you. Now, if this is a pet, your own pet that you want to do this on, and you're not a professional groomer, what I suggest you do before starting this process is to make sure that they're on a high level flat surface because if they're on the ground some dogs believe like it's playtime they won't take you seriously but if you have them on a high flat surface you're able to see them eye to eye and you're able just to have them focus more on you and what you're doing and again that just will make life so much easier. All right, guys, I hope you guys learned something new. If I bought any value to you, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I love what I do. I love sharing these tips and tricks with you guys. So yeah, love and like, Laura Ventura, bye. All right, guys, I'm gonna do a bonus tip for you guys. I'm actually gonna show you guys how to go about um, trimming your dog's tail. Now, before trimming their tail, I wanna make sure that it's completely, completely brushed out. Now, no dog is completely brushed out until you're able to pass a comb through their hair. So no dog is completely brushed out until you're able to pass a comb throughout their entire hair fur, okay? So I'm just gonna make sure that that's the case for Simba before starting. Some dogs tend to get a lot of mats around here, so you just want to check for that. And then, when I'm all done combing out his tail, what I want to do is, I want to look at the tail like it's two sections, okay? And I want to break it up into two sections, so I'm going to make sure that the hair is falling out on this side, and then the hair is falling out on this side. And what I want to concentrate on is the shape of the that the tail already has. So notice that the tail is kind of flagged already. I just want to go ahead and trim all these little edges up to make it look neater. And I want whatever I do to one side, I'm going to do it to the other side. So let's start. Now again, I'm gonna take my my um, curved scissors and I'm going to let the curve here do the work for me. So instead of trimming it like this, I'm going to trim it with the curve up so it does the work for me. And as I'm trimming, I'm, I have my comb right on the side of me. So I'm able to comb it out and see any of the hairs that are missing. All right, I'm gonna turn them around now. Good boy, Simba. And I'm gonna do exactly what I did on one side to the other side. And if I have to lift up the tail to see how short it is, I will. Now, again, I'm not going like this. I'm always going to put my scissors like this upside down so the curve could help me out. more flowy and a less blunt I'm gonna go ahead and bring out my chunkers these are my chunkers and I'm gonna finish here the ends of his tail whatever I cut just to make it look a little bit more natural and flowy and whatever I did to this side I'm going to go ahead and do it to this side so it bunch of hair right here you see how it's like a little bit different just to blend it together I'm gonna take my thinning shears and I'm gonna just thinning shear this out just to make it look a little less poofy 
and the transition into the tail is a lot softer. All right, guys, this is how the tail should look. His tail is all done. And yeah.